And this brings us back to the miracle of Mecca. It's said to us in many places in the Quran, but I will start with Surah 29, Al-Ankabut, verse 67, as follows. Did they not see that we made a secure sanctuary, Haraman Amina, while mankind are snatched away, swept, all around them? Is it then with falsehood they believe and with the favor of Allah they disbelieve? This is a powerful sign and miracle that is mentioned in Surah 29 verse 67. This verse is telling us that Mecca, being described as a secure sanctuary, cannot be colonized. Meaning, another country to settle and establish political control over the indigenous people of an area, the native people. That is what the expression, while mankind are snatched away, swept, all around them, is alluding to. This is further elaborated in Surah 8, Al-Anfal, verse 26, relating to the Arabs as follows. And remember when you were few, being deemed weak in the land, fearing that mankind will snatch you away, sweep you away, يتحطفكم. but he sheltered you, and he strengthened you with his support, victory, and provided you with good things, that you may be appreciative. As you can see, the Arabs in Mecca feared that mankind will snatch them away, sweep them, in other words, colonize them, an external force other than their own people conquering them. But Allah has secured it, so that can never happen. And this is again confirmed in Surah 28 verse 57, Surah Al-Qasas. And they said, If we were to follow the guidance with you, we would be snatched away, swept. Nutahat off from our land did we not establish for them a secure sanctuary haraman amina which fruits of all things are collected to it as provisions from our presence but most of them do not know this secure sanctuary is defined as being a city in surah 95 al balad verse 3 and by this secure city now, if we compare Mecca, Jerusalem, and Petra with these verses, Mecca is the only city in history that fulfills this because it has never been colonized by other countries or other non-Muslim countries after the Quran was revealed and before it. Whereas Jerusalem, Israel, and Petra, which is in Jordan, have been colonized many times before the Quran was revealed and after it. Look into it. Go research this if you aren't aware. Some may say, no one wanted to invade Mecca because it's a desert land with no value. Oh really? The whole purpose of invading a country is for the spoils of war. Today, Saudi Arabia is one of the richest countries in the world and the largest exporter of petroleum in the world with a total worth of 33.2 trillion US dollars. All the superpowers in the world are aware of this. Yet they are invading all the other countries with oil, but not Saudi Arabia? Really? Why? There are many excuses that you can make up. But the truth is, Allah said you can't. And that's where Al Masjidul Haram is. So no country or non Muslim country can invade, colonize the city of Mecca as per those verses. However, although no country, non-Muslim country, can colonize Mecca, Surah 29 verse 67, Surah 8 verse 26, and Surah 28 verse 57 does not say that there cannot be internal political warfare, or what is known as a civil war, which is a war between citizens of the same country. That is permitted within Mecca, just as Prophet Muhammad went to war with the disbelievers and idol worshippers during his time, and won the war in Mecca. Allah then said in Surah 48 verse 27, Definitely, Allah has fulfilled, confirmed to his messenger the vision with the truth. You will most definitely enter Al-Masjid Al-Haram, if Allah willed, secure ones, once shaving your heads and once cutting short not fearing, but he knew what you did not know. He then made, apart from that, a near conquest, victory. Thus, 
This is a clear sign and miracle of Mecca. It cannot be colonized. It's a secure sanctuary. While mankind are snatched away, swept, all around them. Petra in Jordan, not only has it been colonized throughout history, it was once where the people of Thamud were located. Allah destroyed them. Their messenger was Saleh. Thamud's country at that time extended all the way to Saudi Arabia, which there's a famous city in the Quran named after it called Madian or Madain, or as it's called today, Madain Saleh. So which one is their real Qibla? They have no idea as Allah said in Surah 2 verse 144, they do not follow each other's Qibla. We can easily exclude Petra. I will leave you with another clear sign and miracle of Mecca, that it cannot be colonized. The Mongol Empire. The Mongols, who conquered almost the whole world at their time, couldn't conquer Mecca nor destroy the Kaaba, but were successful in destroying all the rest. They swept across much of the Near East after the Siege of Baghdad in 1258, but they couldn't invade Mecca, as their goal was to destroy the Kaaba, Al Masjid Al Haram. Subhanallah. And that was actually the only time the Mongols have ever lost a major battle, the Battle of Ain Jalut, the Spring of Goliath, against us Muslims trying to invade Mecca in Saudi Arabia. Unfortunately, this was also the end of our Islamic golden era by Allah's will. Despite ultimately being unsuccessful in their attempt to destroy Islam, the Mongols left a deep political, economic, military, and religious scar in the heart of our Muslim world of the past. Entire regions were depopulated. Irrigation canals, fields of crops, economic and religious infrastructures were destroyed beyond repair. The destruction of the House of Wisdom, the Grand Library containing so much knowledge, was lost. The political and religious institutions, such as the Caliphate, that held the Muslim world together for centuries, were simply abolished. The Mongol invasion is one of the most demoralizing times of Islamic history. This caused a great depression in our Muslim world. Allah allowed all the important information to be destroyed, except the Quran alone. Only Allah knows best why He allowed the destruction of the Grand Library and all the knowledge that was lost. This verse gives us a clear insight and what needed to be done to prevent this. And the believers were not to march out, troop out, all at once. So if a group from every division among them had not marched out, trooped out, so that they obtained understanding in the religion and that they warned their people when they returned to them, perhaps they would be cautious. This verse was not applied because there wasn't a group from every division among the Abbasid Caliphs who were obtaining understanding of the religion in the House of Wisdom that survived the Siege of Baghdad in 1258. One of the main causes that our Muslim world was largely unable to repel the Mongol invasion was due to disunity and weak political, military, and religious institutions caused by the false hadiths narrations and not following the Quran alone. The Mongol invasion was kind of like pressing the restart button for our Islamic nation. From that point on, we slowly emerged to where we are now with all these divisions. Throughout Islamic history, disunity has always led to invasion and defeat, while unity has led to great Islamic empires that benefited the entire world as revived through Prophet Muhammad who followed the Quran alone. There's much more that can be said, but that certifies this. Mecca cannot be colonized. A clear sign and miracle. A secure sanctuary. More will be said in the next video as this was being interjected before the release of the last section of the series Over It R19. Because a specific prophet will be emphasized therein who plays a tremendous role regarding Over It R19. And he was located along with his descendants at Al Masjid Al Haram, where Allah's sacred house is in Mecca. Salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu alaykum.